Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about 2022 Acura MDX roof rails installation. It's rather easy. Uh, let's just kind of quickly go through the MDX manual to make sure that we have, we're following their instructions and I will have a video of course walking through the actual installation. So highly recommend that. Take a look at the manual which is of course right here in front of you. Um, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of stuff to install. Uh, <clears throat> it comes in with about five different components. Of course, the roof rails, there are two different caps, one smaller ones, um, cap A, cap B, uh, and then these are the nuts where you need the T30 bit. Um, and a torque wrench is recommended if you have one. If not, that's fine. I'll talk about which one is the left ru uh, rail and the right one, so we'll figure this out. If you see at the left corner, it says the plastic trim, Yes, do not remove that. Um, I'll talk about the, that in the video. Um, the, per, the part in front of it is what we need to remove. And you will see there are about eight different places or seven different places. We'll talk about that in the video where you will have to unclip this uh, plastic that is sitting on top. And then we'll put those caps back on. Um, you are supposed to use a torque wrench. Um, of course to kind of get this properly we'll talk about how to at the front you're supposed to make sure that everything is done um, there's a certain way to put this thing in and so let's go ahead and dive into the video and go to the installation alright guys so you saw the installation guide I'm going to be quickly walk you through the actual process I've already taken the other side out you can see I've washed it pretty uh, pretty nice so the first thing you have to do is you're not going to remove this part right here this part is disconnected and so you can see it's all the way down and what we have to do is um, unclip this and I'll show you in one second how to do that very quickly let me show you what it looks like and so these are the clips um, there are one two three four five six the yellow one is actually right here in this end so it's right about in this area and i'll show you how to unclip it in one second so as i said you don't have to remove this part just don't touch it um, and what you have to do is use a plastic um, thing whatever you want to call it and as i said the clip when you look at the clip when i'm showing you you just have to bring the cloth make sure you're not putting any scratches and when you go inside, uh, there's a plastic, uh, you know, there's a bit of a plastic right here again, so for water purposes. And so you just go ahead, push it in a bit, and then you should be able to um, take it out. Let me go ahead and start from here. First, I'm gonna go inside. Did you hear the click? So that means this actual clip is right here. And so what I'm going to do is now run this clip. Keep pushing up. See, I'm pushing this way. And so here you go. There's second. Um, so one thing I just realized that this is, of course, like metal inside with a plastic covering on it. When you are taking it out, don't take it out like this because this will bend. You just have to clip it like this. You have to lift it from here. So I'm going to come here. Go put your finger right here. Three. Again, from the inside, not from the outside. There you go. Just one more right here. And there we go. Just gonna take this outside. All right, so this is from the right hand side. You can see that it is actually bending slightly to the right, of course and then to the left. Um, this is how you're gonna know how you're gonna put the rails and I'll show you another way to identify whether 
which rail is going to go which side the other thing is that you will see one thing that i'll show you is that when you look inside right here you can see these things are sticking out so it will help you guide and um, um it you will have a very good idea whether you have the ones right um, you have the left one the right one and the it will just not fit in regardless if you were to use the left one or the right right on the left it's just not gonna fit in but this is what it looks like and this is where you have to just basically make sure you align it um i think i'm gonna go start from the top one thing that i was told is that when you're installing the part make sure this plastic section is uh, prop you do it properly you sneak it in inside make sure there's no water getting in i cleaned this um just because i thought it was a good idea um i don't need i don't think you have to clean it but uh, uh, go ahead and clean it i cleaned it with a bore brush and uh, just wash it off all right guys so because um, um i'm a one-man show here so just want to show you again uh, it will, these, these um, whatever you want to call it, will perfectly get in line with all these holes. And again, it is going outside, not inside. But nonetheless, as I said, it will fit in perfectly nonetheless. When you're doing this part, please, please make sure that you have this plastic molding under this right here before you screw this up. Again, we're going to, I don't have a torque wrench. I do have one, actually. It's not the perfect one. Um, but uh, we use a torque wrench. The part is done properly. And the other way to kind of make sure that you're installing it perfectly, you will see that these holes right here, it will perfectly get in line with this um, line right here. There are two holes. Uh, maybe it's a bad angle right here. You can see these two holes right here. Um, these are gonna be used for the roof rails. There's one right here. And you can see the other one uh, I'm not sure if the lighting is perfect, but um, you can see that it's there are two um, holes right here um, next to this part uh, as well for the for the crossbar, excuse me. And so I'll go ahead and and put the bolts in it and tie it up, and we'll go from there. All right, so guys, again, this is what it looks like. The holes are going to be on the inside right here, and the on, the other one on the other side. And you can see these are the bolts. Um, I'm using this one because it doesn't slip. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a quick trick. And so it's gonna go like this. Just make sure it's uh, aligned. Don't go too tight right now. Uh, just make sure everything is loose. And as you can see, it kind of made the other one tight. So this one may not go perfectly. So just go ahead and uh, put the nuts. Go nuts. So now once you have uh, um, used either a torque wrench as suggested by the manual use like nine pounds feet of torque um, I just use like um, not brute strength but just you know feel comfortable with that now you just have to put these clips there are two of the clip B's I think they're called it and there are two clips that are go right here called A and those are smaller ones so we'll go and install those now so we just have to put these clips on, if you will, whatever you call it. I think they now call it clips B's versus clip A's, the small ones. The question is, supposed to go this way or this way? And so I just did this one right here. As Whichever you will go, make sure this is sort of a smooth. Um, there's a bit of a curvature right here. So what we're going to do is try it this way first. Get in. There you go. All right, guys, so this wraps up the rails installation. If you all you're doing is rails, you can end the video here. But if you guys want to see how to install the crossbars, stick around.